Viewers in this video we will learn how to erase the ink of a laser jet printer from paper and write a different text on its place. From here we will delete one word and replace it with a new one. You can see here that the word person is followed by George. We will erase the name George and replace it with the correct name Oliver. I have two method to do this. In this video you are watching method 2. Make a note of what you need to delete the name. You must first use a rubber eraser that children use to erase lead pencil writing. The number 2 you need a shaving blade, which we use to shave. We will use only these two things. Start erasing it. You must set it 90 degree angle. Don't place it at the angle of neither left nor right. Straight 90 degree should be. And then you have to start rubbing it. We are rubbing. Our writing is getting distorted from paper. Then you have to blow it. And then you will use a rubber eraser, which will terminate the waste. We will repeat the same thing. First we will rub it with a blade. The ink will be erased from the paper surface. Ink waste will be there. And we'll blow it away. After blowing, we will rub it. Viewers this task is often some difficult for you to try. It can damage the paper. I'm showing you the whole video that I'm erasing. I'm not reducing any videos. So that you can learn the skill well. The most writing is finished. Only a handful remain. We will delete it too. Straight 90 degree angle blade on the paper surface. We are not pushing the blade down. If we press the blade down, our paper will be damaged. Because this blade is very sharp. I'll just press the blade so it doesn't spoil our paper. It is much we do not suppress the more. The writing on a laser jet printer is always on the top layer of paper. It is not absorbed into the paper. So we can erase it by rubbing. But ink jet printer ink cannot be removed by this method. Now I'm just targeting the place where text is seen. I am no longer rubbing on the whole word. We will use the rubber erase again. And we will blow it to clean. Now all the writing is gone except for these two or three points. We will no longer use the straight blade to erase these points. Now we will use only one corner of the blade. And we will only rub in one direction. We will not rub on both directions. We are rubbing but this point is not being erased. Let's keep trying. Don't force yourself on something that doesn't go away. Leave it at that. Don't waste your paper in the process of deleting. No problem if even a small mark remains. Because when we write another name later, this ink will come into that writing. It is now almost 100% clean. And there is no problem with that. Just look at it, it has been cleared in the best way and the paper has not been damaged in the slightest. George's name is gone. Now go to this web page by clicking a link is disruption. Here legal A4 paper sizes are indicated. Download the paper the paper size that you have. And open Adobe Photoshop and open this file in it. If you look inside it, you will see that it has numbers written on it. 1, 2, 3, 4 count like this. You can see the big numbers in pink color. If you go inside the subcell, it counts here again. Go to another cell, for example 38 to zoom in so that within the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 written counting. Counting is in each cell. And also counts inside the cell's subcell. You have to just print it. Remember because we have the legal size page, from the printer settings we will select the legal size. And every time we will choose the legal. Now we press the print button. 
We put a page inside the printer machine. Our machine will print now. Wait. Great. Let's see it. In Adobe Photoshop you just saw on the screen came out in print. Counts and counts more inside the subcell. Look, this is a glass box. If you do not have glass box, use your laptop screen, mobile flashlight, or light bulb or any bright object. We have a glass box that we will use it. This is a light bulb. We put it inside the box and light it. We will now place our document on it. And the matrix page we just printed will be placed on top of it. Now both the pages are upon each other combine them corner to corner. Keep in mind that there is no difference should be between pages. Now watch it carefully. Consider this place right here, after the word person, the name George was coming. We take a pencil, mark on this place. Make a circle on empty space. So that we can write our new name Oliver right in this place. Now we pick up our matrix page. Below is our document. If we pick it up, there is only a bulb below. If you consider this thing. Our writing comes in boxes 14 and 15. That box number 14 subcell 9 starting from, it goes to subcell 8 of box number 15. As you can see below, it starts with subcell 3 of box number 24 and goes to subcell 2 of box number 25. Now we will go to the computer and find the exact same place in Photoshop and write the new name. Let's go to the computer. Find the same cell you just marked in it. 14 and 15 above, and 24 and 25 below. Now make a box with the text tool, keeping in mind the subcell also. Text box is created. Now we will write the new name Oliver inside it. Increase the text size it should be according to our document. Also, make sure your font style is the same as the one used in your document. Its font style is Arial. If the font style differs from the document, it can be identified. Now I will move it to center. 7 is the middle of this place. Now I hide the matrix page from here. The same legal size and now we print it. The printer must have an edge guide set otherwise it will become a problem for us. Now place your Oliver page on top of the light box first. Keep your document upon Oliver page. As I told you before, the corners should be equal. That to every time. It should be equal from upper side there is no problem if it is not equal from the downside. Combine corner by corner. We see the writing very well, but the problem is that it has to be a little bit left and a little bit down and a little bit bigger. Otherwise it is okay. I picked up the document. Pick the Oliver page. Come back to Photoshop. Zoom in. Show matrix page. Select it and move it slightly to the left. OK here now. Increase its size. Make it 12 to 12.5. That's enough. Now hide the matrix again. And print it out. As before. And then again on the first phase of beating the right place. Last time I was not success is the finding the right place. 
the second print is coming out. Now we've got some bigger text. See now. Put the Oliver page down first. Put the document on top of it. You will remember now that the corner should be equal. Otherwise, each time the writing will reach a new place. Do it from both sides. Now watch it again. Is it coming to the right place now? And the size is right. Yes, sir, that's right. Now go to Photoshop and give another command of such a print. Try again and again as you get the best results. Don't move anything. Same paper size. But this time we will replace the blank page in the printer with our original document. Now in the same place printing well where we want. Let's see. We wait till printed. Look at it. Best. The result is excellent. This is exactly where we want. There is no difference. This trick is 100% working. If you don't understood all of the steps at once, watch the video again and again. Until you understood. I would advise you to practice this with another paper first. Once you understand, then do it with your original paper. Don't try it with your original document for the first time. Because you may have made a mistake. Hopefully you will like this trick. Please like our work. Thanks.